thought I'd do a quick update video on how the supercapacitors have been working on starting my 9993 Saab. One of the issues that I ran into is I had the car parked for a considerable length of time because of other mechanical issues and my small battery works absolutely great for about a week to two weeks of holding enough charge in order to keep the car started. If it's parked any longer than that it, the parasitic draw from the car and the internal leakage from the capacitors is enough to kill this 4.5 amp hour battery. So just something to be aware of if anyone is thinking of playing with this stuff. Uh, be aware that these small batteries, just the load from the vehicle itself, they aren't going to hold a charge nearly as long as what your standard car battery would. The other issue that I ran into was the actual connections on these supercapacitors, I had them break. They, they weren't very solid connections. I didn't check them that close. I got them off the internet and just put them in. So I actually had the capacitor bank break apart and I lost power and wasn't able to start the car. And when it did that, it actually damaged one of my balancing boards. Now originally I had ordered the parts to fix the balancing board but on closer inspection, I'm finding that the ones that are still in here are actually starting to corrode. So I'm going to try to put together a different way of balancing it that might be a little bit more resilient to the elements. Other than that, it works pretty well. Um, it's just not a good system if you're only going to occasionally drive the car. When I was driving it every day, I had no issues starting it in any weather. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, and thanks for watching.